I'm as sick of vampire movies as you are. But every now and then, a new vampire movie comes along, and it's got the right cocktail of interesting and original ingredients to make it feel fresh and entertaining. That's a bare-bones way of describing a new vampire film called Jacob's Wife. Let me howl about it for a bit after this. Welcome back to M.L. Miller Frights, a part of the Kings of Horror Network. I'm M.L. Miller. While you might be watching this video on the Kings of Horror Network, I urge you to click over to my M.L. Miller Frights YouTube page and give it a like. Please share with all of your buddies. Click subscribe to this channel, and don't forget to ring that bell for notifications. Jacob's Wife is new on-demand and digital download from RLJ Entertainment. It's directed by Travis Stevens and written by Kathy Charles, Mark Steesland, and Travis Stevens. Barbara Crampton plays Anne, the doting wife of the local minister, Jacob, played by Larry Fessenden. While she swallows her pride when Jacob cuts her off in conversations and tries her best to make Jacob feel happy and cared for, Anne longs to live a bigger and better life. When her old boyfriend comes into town to inspect a local factory for reconstruction, Anne meets him for dinner, which leads them to check out the factory together and a shared kiss. But just as Anne decides cheating is not something she wants to do, out of the darkness a vampire attacks, leaving Anne bitten but alive. When she gets home, Anne begins lusting for blood, and Jacob is becoming mighty suspicious of his wife's new behavior. Jacob's wife was such a breath of fresh air, it was hard to believe. Not only does it find a new and interesting take on vampires, but it also features two older actors who have been featured in too many horror films to count, and gives them leading roles. I'm as big of a fan of seeing brainless teen and 20-somethings slaughtered as the next guy, but there's something amazing about a script written for adults, having adults do and say adult things, handling adult themes in an adult way. As this film went on, I found myself downright giddy at seeing characters evolve and actually talk together when they have a disagreement. There's a scene where Jacob admits he was wrong about the way he had treated Anne all of these years, and after Anne accepts the apology, she apologizes herself for being such a pushover for so long. Two people admitting they were wrong without one of them pouncing on them and going for the throat? Imagine that in this day and age. I couldn't believe how smart and immature this film was, as it took the material we've seen time and time again of coping with the transformation into a vampire, and wrote it not as a piece to empower just one person and diminish the next. In a lesser writer's hands, Jacob would be a Bible-thumping zealot, and Anne would be the fierce female warrior that doesn't take no for an answer. Instead, in Jacob's Wife, Anne and Jacob are complex characters in an extraordinarily complex predicament, and they actually love each other. While Jacob's wife is definitely a story about a woman finding her own voice, it doesn't succumb to making one side look bad in order to elevate another. Watching this film, I could see a million and one ways it could have gone wrong had this film been done by a major studio, and I was exuberant to see it go in a much more realistic, tender, and surprising way. I've always been a fan of Barbara Crampton. I was lucky enough to be a judge with her at a Chicago film festival a few years ago, and I was definitely starstruck, as she is as charming and talented as she was in the films that made her a horror icon. Seeing this film give her a chance for her star to shine brightly again filled me with glee. Crampton is given a nuanced character to work with here. She loves her husband, but has a growing need for something more. At the same time, she's given the chance to be sexy as hell and succeeds in every scene she's in. Forget Jamie Lee Curtis. Barbara Crampton is the true queen of horror, and if you have any doubt, see this movie as a reference. Not only does she take risks, but she isn't afraid to get down and dirty, eating worms, wearing facial appliances in vampire form, and bathing in blood from head to toe. The world of horror is better because we have Barbara Crampton in it. And how awesome is it that this film features a lead role for the godfather of indie horror, Larry Fessenden. The actor is notorious for showing up in bit roles in just about every notable horror movie for the last decade. While he was given a sizable role in We Are Still Here, Fessenden is front and center for most of the film alongside Crampton. 
Fessenden gets to flex both his comedic and dramatic muscles here and shines brightly at both. Jacob's wife has a darkly comedic tone throughout, but once Jacob uncovers Anne's bloody secret, the comedy really works, as does the drama, but both never outshine or diminish the terror. Travis Stevens gave us Girl on the Third Floor last year, which I found to be thematically uneven, but possessing a lot of potential. Stevens really ups his game with Jacob's wife, delivering darkly funny scenes alongside poignant and tender ones, while never forgetting that this is a hardcore and gory horror movie. Not too many directors can juggle these tones successfully, but Stevens does. There are some wonderfully realized scenes of pure gothic horror, as the vampire in this one feels ripped straight from Bram Stoker. The master, played by Bonnie Ahrens, is played rat-like, slender, with hands hanging low and outstretched at the wrists, just like Max Schreck's performance in Nosferatu. The lead vamp is even accompanied by scores of rats at all times. Plus, there are some amazing effects going on with the vampires as their eyes become red and bloodshot, weeping tears of blood when they're in the presence of fresh red stuff. These vamps utilize all kinds of bits and pieces of other films, but still feel iconic. Top to bottom, Jacob's Wife is an unforgettable vampire tale, from the stellar performances from its cast, to the massive amounts of bloodletting, to the fiendish sense of humor, to the massive beating and tender heart. Jacob's Wife is a new classic in the vampire genre. Don't miss it. That'll be it for today. Please chime in down below in the comments and let me know how on the nose or mind-numbingly wrong I am, or you can counter with your own review. So guys, you know how YouTube works. I'd love to be able to dedicate more time to this channel. I'm not monetized yet, so if you want to help me out, remember to hit all the pertinent bells and whistles down below. Want some spooky comics to read? I have two new horror comic book trade paperbacks you should look out for. Both Grave Trancers and Pirouette, collecting never-before-published issues, can be found in only the finest of comic book shops. If you're looking for written reviews, you can find them on my website, mlmillerwrites.com. If you really want to show your support, I also have a Patreon page, at mlmiller. Look for the link to my Patreon page down below. Thank you so much for your time, and take care. You're doomed to live the life you're meant to be Stuck inside your reality You're